Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to World of Tanks Generals. This is your somewhat lovely host, News Nation BT, and today we're playing Schleslian. Or Schle, as I call it. And really, I'm not liking this HQ so far. Alright, also, um, just going to get us out of there. Sorry about not really uploading much last week. I think I did just once, but just due to the holiday, I was busy, which is odd, actually. That that New Year was more of a holiday for me than Christmas. That's odd for most people, but I don't know. My my sister was in town visiting, and she doesn't live anywhere close to me normally, so it's been like six years since I've seen her. So, yeah, that I'll use that as an excuse. It's not a good excuse, but it's an excuse. So, yeah, this start right here is not ideal. The Yogpanzer fours are something a lot of people aren't fond of. I don't understand why, because they do draw a card. They're a nice little cantrip. They're a slightly weaker stoog with that take more power, but they draw a card. So, I mean, your opponent spends resources getting rid of them, and I mean, a 2-6 isn't really terrible stats, honestly. I mean, sure, it's about where you'd get at, what you'd get at a tier 1, but you normally don't draw a card from a tier 1 for free. So, I mean, they're okay. They're not bad. I like them. Also, I have to make this list a bit different than other, um, like, stew-based lists that I've played. I mean, they're, they're not a horrible card, though. You can't argue that they're horrible. Like, I do kind of get annoyed with them, because I do see many cases where they're sort of bad. But I'm also kind of fond of the little things. I'm going to stop him from drawing a card there. It'd be cool if the 60th ability was actually on a um, German HQ just so you could actually double dip this. But that's never going to happen because that would be stupid. Alright, other cards in here, mm, everything else, pretty straightforward and understandable. Like Stream Panzer, of course, nice card advantage thing. Three cops, might want to come back to two. I don't know how I feel about that, because I might go two cops and then radio operators. But knowing my luck, I'm just going to draw the two cops every game anyway. So yeah, that's how it works for me. Uh, Panzer 35, check, or which is a T, which stands for check from what I understand now. It's in here just because I want another light tank and didn't want to be a Luke's because I always have the problem with Luke's where I just draw them all the time and they're not useful. They're a really dead draw a lot of the time. They're super dead. Nine. We're actually down a card, which sucks. That really sucks. Confused about why he's using M5 Stewarts. Probably just because they're a decent little light tank. 2.5 is not bad for a light tank. It's pretty good for a light tank, but I don't like the whole tier 4 part of it when not getting the camo. Camo makes him amazing. Probably going to lose that. We're probably going to lose this game, just quite honestly. I don't have luck with this deck, as you can see, that 50% right there. That's really bad. Because I am not a 50% player. It's just, this HQ is a little bit underpowered. A little bit underpowered. A lot bit underpowered, actually. Like, I'm not even using the ability of it yet. Alright, let's see what happens, so... I feel like later down the line it'll be pretty strong, because it gets ordnance. And then you can do things like just blitz out a 10 drop and laugh. And then shuffle your deck back in. So, yeah, I mean, that's okay. Just confused about what he's doing this entire time. Move, those moves took him a while right there. Alright, we'll do that. That seems like a stronger play than putting one Stug in to die to. So, let's see him kill this and one of these. 
Otherwise, he's losing his Sardi. He actually does have quite car advantage because I didn't think about this. Sue 8s have reinforcements, don't they? Because they're really strong, yeah. Well, that makes them really strong. They don't have it because they're really strong. They're strong because they have it. I mean, he's still out carding us, which is unfortunate. Really unfortunate. He's playing Stoogs, though, which is questionable, but it's not bad. It's really not bad at all. It's rather good, actually. Uh, now I can't get to his Artie, which is annoying. Come on, Stroom Panzer. That's not a Stroom Panzer. I am getting a little bit annoyed. I can't kill one Artie, actually. not going to give him card draw here, but he gets a free unit. Alright. This is not going well for us at all. And people were complaining about the whole 60th nerf. But 60th is still rather strong. Uh, I mean, we can still win, though. We're just going to have some problems because he does have the board. We do not have the board. And, um... Yeah, we're not going to get the board anytime soon. He has card advantage, too. And he's just going to get more card advantage. Like, yeah, I, I can say it. The Yogpanzer Fords are kind of bad when you draw, like, all three of them at once. That was a slight misplay but not really because it wouldn't have made much of a difference because it would have only hit that for free because this has camo okay well that sucks we needed that to do some damage like actually really badly like, we really could have used some damage right there I'm surprised he's playing orders because he obviously has a pretty solid deck and normally orders are not good Normally, they're not. Six, or... <sighs> We're going to lose this anyway. I was hoping for something else, but did not get it. Huh. Well, we probably lose this. Because all he does is shoot, 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 move up, attack, 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 and it's it's cleared. I mean, he can even get this um, Panzer 38 ton. There's no comeback from this. He didn't need to do that. That was a wasted card right there. That was a completely wasted card. I mean, yeah, it helps him clear a little bit faster, but he, I guess, I guess it wasn't completely wasted, but it was mostly wasted. I don't agree with it either way. <laughs> but we do lose. It's, that's now a guarantee I'm pretty sure of. I guess we could have held on to the Stroom Panzer. That was probably a misplay because we would have killed that and had another Stoog down. So yeah, yeah, it's our fault actually right there. I say that in a sincere way, by the way. I know it sounds like right away sarcastic, but it wasn't. Right, he's going to kill one of these just for free. I'm starting to really hate Stoogs, by the way, because they, they just don't stick on the board. They can't stick on the board too well. Alright, so there's free damage right there. 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. They're both dead, and we lose. Our, I'm getting really annoyed because it's been hard to find games with this deck as well. Alright, I'm just going to surrender and stop wasting your time. There is no coming back from that. You can tell that quite easily. Alright, so I'll see you during the next one. Uh, and we're back. Ah, the cues in this are kind of terrible, but that one wasn't too bad. It was only a few minutes. 
Hopefully we can get you a win, guys. I mean, really, hopefully. Looking at those stats. But I'll probably actually lose. So this is a tenth. So what we have to worry about here is obscene resource growth with obscene end cost things. Basically, that's what you have to worry about with all um, USHQs. But we're not super high yet. Like, this is not a... We're not at super high power is what I'm trying to say. So we don't have to worry too much about some of the more ridiculous things that we can see. Tenth just recently got buffed, which is really nice because it really needed it. Just quite honestly, if you had ever played it before, you you know how much it needed it, and it still could use a little bit more of a buff, in my opinion. It's still a little bit weak at. Well, it's a little bit weak in general as an HQ, but I feel like it's in a good place right now because once you start getting really high powers, it it can get ridiculous. Oh, well, okay then. It's not a card that really should be used, in my opinion. But it's a card he is using. Alright, we are going to kill that Wolverine, because it's, that Wolverine's actually more threatening to us than this um, uh, priest is. Like, I'm not too worried about the priest right now. There's bigger concerns that I can have. Like him getting a massive Lee, or just drawing a bunch of cards, or healing a bunch and drawing a bunch of cards late game. I mean, all the things that come from the... the why, why do I want to say... An, the Wolverine, all the things that come from the Wolverine are bad for us. You don't have to spend that resource, but... I mean, it rounds out his spending, so it makes sense that he does. But he didn't have to. But he did. I would have, too. Just because... It makes, I guess, no sense not to. Because it does look better on stats. Just spend those resources. You get them back next turn. He had nothing else. Because I can't think of any good one-drops that the tenth can use or really any deck can use <laughs> other than no the Luke's is a two drop isn't it yeah so no I don't use a Luke's in here I don't know if I talked about it last game or not I feel like I did but I am not a fan of a Luke's anymore because it just it just happens too much where I draw Luke's like as a top deck when it's key to draw, you know, anything else. And yeah, it just it just sucks. It's the worst thing. And I cry for like thirty or forty minutes. Not not really, but I feel like I do. And it's just unfortunate. Just like how I've noticed, like I've played like three or four games with that VK in this deck, with those two VKs, and I haven't drawn one yet. And the only reason I have two it's because I wanted to show some deck with a VK in it, and I don't have a third one yet. Because I'm a scrub. I probably will replace one of the police with one, with the other third VK, though, because it does kind of take the place of the cops. Really, this is a deck that I want to make focused around, you know, drawing a substantial number of cards. But guess what this deck hasn't been doing so far? Yeah. That's the one thing it hasn't done. I've not been drawing cards with this deck, which is odd. Because I have so many cantrips in here. So many cards that just draw cards, and I never draw them. I, I just feel like I should be drawing more cards than what I, what I am drawing. That's one reason I didn't care too much about the Priest either. Is I do have a Westby out, Westby out for the foreseeable future. And that'll keep us afloat. Also, he's giving us one more resource right now, actually, which is nice of him. All right, what can save us here? Okay, that's would have hurt more, like, with the Wolverine alive still. It still hurts us a lot. We don't have a solid way of removing that right now. So we're 
probably just going to slowly die. That's really not what I needed right here, deck. Like, really. For a moment, I thought my play was stupid because I was like, wait, no, he still has that. And it's like, wait, no, he doesn't. Good, good. Move this up. Move it up. Oh, wait, no, it wouldn't matter because he can't shoot with his HQ, our HQ. Now, is he going to remove her Vespa? He might remove her Vespa. Or four of Vespa. Well, there's some card draw right there. We'll hold on to this also. For when it's somewhat safe to play, it can it can get that priest for us. And that will be nice. We'll just hope he doesn't draw anything. Okay, then. He did most certainly use two orders for that. That's... Not the worst thing in the world for us. I will be doing it this way. There we go. Holding our plays for a little bit. It helped us a bit. This priest is kind of being annoying. Now I'm kind of regretting not killing it when I had the chance, but we'll get to it. I hope. Does he have one damage so he can priest this? I'm going to go with probably not. Nope, does not look like it unless he has another priest in hand. In which case I'll be kind of okay with that. Oh, the slight tank alone can't actually deal with that priest, which is unfortunate. Oh, we got a VK. Now it's time for us to start drawing some cards. Yeah, just drawing a few cards. We only have 11 cards in our casualties. We'll be okay. So this basically, whenever it attacks, I draw a card. And when it's when it's attacked, I draw a card too. So I mean, this will get a lot of cards. It's the first time I actually played it, like in an actual game. That was a pretty solid play on his part. He gets to priest that away. I can draw a card if I want. I think I will. Yeah, definitely going to draw a card now. I drew a nice order to kill that. Now his board's clear. Nice and clear. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, I want it there. Yeah, why not? And also it's a medium tank, which is nice, and it's a 3-5. So that's nice, too. Although, we are running low on cards, and we're probably not going to draw our other Vespa, because it's probably in our casualties. It's just a good chance of that. Now you can actually try to mill us like that, which is interesting. An interesting approach. So now we're going to draw two more cards. We'll be at 14 cards total. Which is enough, actually, for us to still win this game. Oh, cool. We did get it. Hmm, what's the chances that he runs some discard? Pretty low. It's honestly pretty low. So now we're looking pretty good. Looking very good, actually, in my opinion. I'm a fan of our position. That VK302 really drew us a lot of cards actually maybe I shouldn't have surrendered that last one maybe we could have come back with a 302 although kind of a little more doubtful no don't do that oh it's only four okay okay that's fine so good thing I played the Vespa because he did have some discard 
I'm not going to cops though. Cause that would be asking to get milled, basically. Just like playing this was. Should not have played that. Honestly, should not have played that. That could go pretty wrong. Pretty wrong pretty quickly. Because it's the one that's going to actually get attacked if he attacks our HQ somehow. It's unlikely he attacks our HQ, though. Okay. That's fine. If he plays a unit, though, we'll get some cards back. I doubt he runs another airborne assault. For a moment, I was like, what am I doing? I had the light tank, and I'm like, no, the light tank died because he focus fired it. Alright, so we'll get our first recorded win on this deck. Like, first one I've recorded, which isn't saying much because I've only played two games here. So, okay, that's recruitment drive. For a moment, I was like, wait, no, not an airborne assault. Anything, anything but that. And I felt really stupid, and I was like, that wasn't an airborne assault. Okay, so what we do here, move that down, move this here, this here, move this up here, and I guess we want to just draw more cards. Let's draw more cards. Oh, cool. We gotta draw a bunch of cards there. Okay. Well, um, that was two games. One win, one loss. Uh, that works out pretty well. I'm kind of sad about the loss, but oh well. It's, I'm still learning how to play Schley, and did not realize that VK302 can draw quite that many cards. That's all kind of ridiculous. I kind of like it. So yeah, I'm still modifying the stack. You'll prob Well, you will see it again in the future. I can't really say when. It'll probably be a while, but um, sorry about being gone, of course. I hope you're somewhat understanding of that. hope I didn't upset anybody by just disappearing. So, yeah, as always, leave your feedback down in the comment section below. I always love reading that. I love you all. I hope you have wonderful days, and I'll see you next time.